<laughs> and a laptop computer. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the layout. Uh, I've been working on it a little bit this evening, having a lot of technical difficulties. I would have ran all the trains at once, but uh, Lionel, I was having some technical difficulties with the Lionel track. So, got to do some work on that. <laughs> we got to do some work on that area and layout. Um, but what you guys did was you took a trip on the HO area. Um, there's not really much to the in scale track. It's just a small little loop. I wish I could do a video of the webcam going around the uh, track like that, but um, trains are too small. <laughs> so, anyway, this took about 10 takes. Uh, I had to position. First of all, here's the car that you guys are riding on it's a generator car. I had originally the camera, this the camera's uh, sideways right now, the iPod is sideways. Uh, but originally it was standing straight up uh, with the camera or the iPod against the generator and you can see I have a rubber band to tie it down but uh, that didn't seem to work out because it was too heavy and not only that you guys wouldn't have been able to go under the bridge like that so instead what I did is I just put it on its side and put two rubber bands to secure it down and then that's killing me right now. Okay, and then uh, I put a magnet, refrigerator magnet, on the back to support, uh, to even the weight out. So that helped out immensely. As the car I always used to run my uh, videos for the HO scale layout. Uh, for the Lionel, uh, when I do, uh, what is it? Ground level eye view videos for uh, the O gauge track. I usually use a searchlight car, and that's proven to be very effective as well. But uh, anyway, guys, this is I, I added a few things to the layout here. Uh, as you can see, I have a banjo signal, banjo crossing. Now it was over here. Okay, honestly, it is. So it's supposed to be over here with the uh, gosh, close to the grade crossing but be, because the webcam was hating it so much I just decided to move it out of the way uh, back there I don't know if you can really tell this but you will be able to when I move some stuff out of the way I have a Lionel station uh, next to the track and then you have a little crossing over there and you got my banjo signal so it's all good um, I had to move a lot of things out of the way I actually had to move that chair. Uh, I had to move my trestle side guard sections out of the way so the camera, these, uh, so the camera would be able to go through smoothly. And I also had to move that station that you guys passed by at least three or four times over there uh, out of the way. That small little station. Uh, you can barely see it, but it's uh, over by the side of the track. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, this is the layout for right now. Uh, I'm going to get to bed because it's late and I need to and I have a test tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, this is Railroad Kid 1937 saying peace, God bless, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on my next layout video. Hopefully to have all the trains running at once. So uh, I'll catch you guys later.